because I was out of Kennedy years back, I guess it was in the 70s, and our Italian plane came in to land uh, at DC-8. And The propanol, without the propylene glycol, glycol. the rubber off the white line plate. Yes, this goes. Again, it's already adjusted. I'm going to spray it. You notice it comes out like a fan spray. You see that on camera? You see the fan pattern? You see the coverage? I've got full coverage here. So everything I do, it's perfect. This is the same way they do the Lincoln Tunnel through spray bars like this. This has already broke through some of this. Let's see. There we go. So that's what's nice about this. It's not a lot of work. The longer you let it sit, the easier it is to remove whatever you're cleaning, especially soap scum in the shower. But you get baked on stuff, grease, oil, you put it on, we'll rinse it now. Always go from the bottom to the top. That's the professional way to clean. And there you go, that's pretty simple. So
up close to it just so you can see how nice this looks and the material is like new so we know it's going to dry and it's going to look phenomenal so but we here's the finished product next day the covers dry and you can see just spray on the G5 pretty liberal find the right road grime you would have had on, on a truck really bad. I don't know about you, but both ways today. You don't have to wet it, but I like the first. I'm going to use our G5 on one side. The way it's uniform. I'm going to use our regular, let's see, I'll just put it on heavy duty really quick on five to go quick on this side. Put it on, that's going to soften them up. And all I have is a plain bucket of water here and a brush. And we'll just see if they stand a chance. Well, just look how quick that was. It didn't even take a dwell time. And those bugs were on there. Came right off. So let's rinse that off. Take a look at it really quick. That wasn't supposed to happen, but let's see. I mean, back down where I'm going to go. Just like they were never there. Ultra one. Come over. We'll wet the wheel first. We'll just do a section. Could use the G5 because I want to give it time to penetrate. So I'll just do the one section there. We'll just. We'll let that sit for a little bit. All right, come on over here, John. We got something else here. All right, sob wheel. Buy this brush in any auto parts store. It's made for doing the wheels. No magic here. Wheels are hammered because the car's got 113,000 miles on it, commuting every day from Pennsylvania to New Jersey. You can see like the paint's gone and the finish is gone here, but the main thing is is that the brake dust was gone and this was pretty simple, as you saw. I'm going to just rinse the one section real quick and we'll be done here. So all the brake dust is gone. This is just the finish of the wheel being gone from being chipped and sandblasted from the miles and stuff. But as you can see, brake dust came right off. That cleaned up fine. All right, we'll go around to the Nissan. I've been winter driving on the bottom of this car here. So what we'll do is come over here and I will wet it down first. I could use any product. I could use the G G5 on this. Or I could have put the heavy duty or the 1 to 10. The G5 is good. We'll let it sit a bit. And I'll come back in a few minutes and I'll just brush that and hose that off and that's going to be gone. We're going to go over and do that wheel on the sob and it's all going to be good. All right, shut it off. Get our brush. And just plain cold water here, no hot water, no pressure washers. Now 
not going to hurt the paint. I wonder where cars are clear coat and stuff. Alright, the main thing is we get the tar off without using solvent or gasoline or all the stuff you used to have. Dissolved it off damage free. So basically that's what it will do throughout the car.